Hi and welcome to yet another Escape from Tarkov guide. In this one I will go over your gear choices when you struggle in the race to level 20 to unlock flea market and gain freedom of choice. In this video I will go with my recommendations for best armors, helmets and weapons you can use to have some success and hopefully survive more raids. Alright, let's start with the major rule, always use protection. Seriously, no matter if you will come early or join midwipe. Even class 2 armor will increase your survival rate. While good players will probably run a good ammo to ignore your armor completely, scuffs can be a real pain in the ass, so you want to make sure you can tank few rounds. While it doesn't really matter which class 2 armor you will use, the best one is Paka. When it comes to class 3 armor, the only one you can buy for money is actually the best one anyway. The only drawback is that it also functions as a chest rig, but this also means a higher chance to get it back in insurances, at least in theory. Space inside is limited, but it's good enough. It's also made of titanium, so repairs will not destroy a lot of maximum durability, meaning you should be able to use it as a budget option for a very long time. In comparison, the only armor that comes close to its effective armor durability is Kirasa. Problem with that armor is its color, but also it's made of combined materials, so it will lose maximum durability much faster than Ule. Press armor is decent if you'll find one. Untar is on par with SB231, so go with the camo one as a budget option. After reaching Kragman's loyalty level 2, you will gain access to some class 4 armors. Choice here is again very simple. Use SB3M01M. It has only 40 durability, but it's made of titanium, so it will repair very well. The other available options are only ceramic armors, so just try to avoid them unless you don't mind some money sink and throwing them away after one raid. When it comes to helmets, we have a very easy choice again. Use SSH68 from Ragman. If you feel like you have enough money, then go with Ratnik Helmet from Prepor. You pay extra for his protection, but other than that, they offer basically the same protection level. I would advise not to use Cold Pack, even though you can get face shit for it. It will muffle sound too much, and class 2 protection it offers is not worth its drawback. Okay, time for weapons and ammo, two things that are strongly entangled in Tarkov. Basics are very simple, you should use guns with the best penetration ammo or if you go for leg meta, guns and ammo that can deal a lot of damage very fast. Best gun at your disposal early is Vapor VPO 1306 you can get from Skier. You can buy 7.62x39mm PS rounds with 32 penetration power from Prepor. On top of that you can mod this gun with reflex sight, making it a very strong semi-auto gun that should go through class 3 armors with ease. Other guns using this caliber are AKM and AKMS you can get a little later, both with option to go full auto but with quite high recoil without a lot of modding. If you decide to use them I would suggest spraying only in close quarters and maybe crouching for extra recoil control. If you don't mind SKS iron sight then that gun will work too, it's the cheapest weapon for the caliber so quite good budget option. You can also buy 20 rounder mag from Peacekeeper to make it more reliable gun. If you want some sniping action, then you have to go with OPSKS from Jaeger. You will be able to put PS scope on that gun. Second best choice for your early game gun is in my opinion ADR. You can buy M855 rounds with 28 penetration power from Peacekeeper, so you should go easily through class 3 armor and have option to put reflex sight on the gun without too much modding. If you like using ADR, make sure to buy MK12 low profile gas blocks so nothing will obscure your vision when you aim down sight. Also make sure to take those ADRs from scuffs. You can replace a receiver and have 100% durability gun for cheap. If you will be able to get your hands on M4s, it's for sure a nice upgrade with its full auto mode, but don't expect too much in terms of modding action on early levels. Your third best option is VPO 209. You can get one from Jaeger and from Skier after you finish Syrup Quest. What makes this gun work is Eco Round with 30 penetration value. That gives you a very good fighting chance versus class 3 armor. Because it's AK base, you can also mod it a little with basic trader's gear. There is also VPO215, quite cheaper option, but it's just not worth it in my opinion, unless you really want to snipe with it. It just shots too slow to be as reliable as VPO209. Now let's talk about 5.45 AKs. The first one you can get is AKS74U after you finish first quest from Prapor. It's not amazing gun, but it can work. At loyalty level 2, you can get your hands on other AKs that will be easier to mod for decent recall. Also don't forget that very cheap and effective way of modding AK's recall is putting rubber pot on the stock. As a bonus if you will buy AK-74U or AK-74N from Prepor, it will come with 30 rounds of BP. The reason why AK's are worth your time early wipe is the fact that you can get BT rounds very easily, 
They are quite common spawns, especially on reserve map. But even if you are little unlucky, Prepper offers barters for BP and BT round. What makes BT ammo so strong is just 37 penetration power that will let you counter class 4 and even some budget class 5 armors. Next category of guns I will talk about are SMGs. We have some choices here, but without easy option to get the best one. I'm talking here about MP5, MPX and PP19. While they use not the best penetration round, PST GZH has only 20 penetration power, you will be able to destroy opponents using class 3 armors with this gun. It's all about very nice recoil and fast rate of fire. Problem comes when somebody will be using class 4 armor. Still, because it's quite easy to spray with those guns, you should always try to go for head for easy kill. Now, if you will look at SMGs from another perspective, there is another strategy that will make them work. Going for legs should drop your enemies very fast, even with the basic rounds you have access to early game. Best tool for the job is PPSH-41 with LRNPC rounds from Jaeger. The second best is Keder with PSV rounds, or if you are lucky to find one, MP7 with Action SX rounds. Last option would be MP5 Kurtz with PSO rounds. Later, Vector.45 with Laser Match or ACP FMJ can wreck out of havoc, but it's quite costly gun, so probably not worth the investment. Another late option is MP9 and 9x19 Quakemaker ammo. Let's not forget about shotguns. Early options are also not terrible when it comes to leg meta. 7mm buckshot can work surprisingly well. All you need is two leg shots to destroy your opponent. Because enemies will not use faces early wipe, you can also try to hit them in the face. Your best option for shotty is MP153, it shots a little faster than other shotguns. If you don't mind some pump action, then MP133 or Mossberg with its very decent iron sight can work very well. Also with Workbench level 1 or after reaching Jaeger Loyalty 2, that may not be so easy, you will gain access to Magnum Buckshot, round that can one tap even if you hit somebody in their stomach. That leaves us with the last group of guns, pistols. I would probably go with them as last resort budget option, unless you really have easy time to pop those heads. Your best option is probably Beretta, maybe Glock 17 if you can spend some extra. The reason is, if you'll be against somebody with Paka, then you have some chance to go through the armor with PST GZH rounds with 20 penetration power. Other pistols lack rounds with good pen value, so I would just avoid them. Ok, let's talk about what you use when you will notice a lot of people started using class 4 armor. Great equalizer here is Mozin with LPS GZH rounds. 42 penetration power will be enough to two tap somebody through thorax. Drawback is slow bolt time, so you may not have your chance for a second shot. But worry not, there is a better option after you reach level 14 and level up Peacekeeper. He will sell M80 rounds with 42 penetration power and RFB gun that can go semi-auto. With that gun you should melt people standing in your way. If you were lucky with Jaeger and have him at loyalty level 2, then Vepper Hunter is always a nice option too. Also you can use Tarkov armor calculator I made to check penetration chances for early armors to see by yourself what gives you best chance for surviving. Make sure to look for it in the description below. Alright, that's all I have in this guide. Thanks for watching till the end and see you in raids.